Clear Waterproof Membrane Sealer for Stone Tiles or CWM Sealer. The first question we get asked is, is CWM Sealer a normal stone sealer that I can find locally? The answer is no. Clear Waterproof Membrane Sealer is a hydrostatic pressure sealer used for its compatibility with the membrane, the colour and its ability as a hydrostatic pressure sealer. Start by vacuuming the surface to remove any dust that has settled on it over the last few days while it was drying. If you live in the city and have excessive pollution, you may need to do a very dry wet wipe on the, of the surface to remove pollutants. Stone tiles will need to be sealed using the CWM sealer the day before the membrane application as stone behaves like a rigid sponge. Water will soak in and be held in the stone and released at a later time. Like over 95% of waterproofing, the clear waterproof membrane is a positive membrane meaning that will protect the area that is applied to from water ingress from rain and a hose. It will not work with rising damp where water vapour is released from below. So in the instance of stone, where this is expected, CWM sealer is required. It is a hydrostatic sealer, meaning that it will not allow water vapour to come in contact with the underside of the membrane, creating condensation bubbles or membrane failures. Please note, the CWM sealer will only work on applications where the sealer is used with an intact surface. If you have cracks through the surface, water will still have the ability to rise through these openings. And if you have so much water in there that actual water comes to the surface, this will also bypass the sealer. So it's equally important to ensure the surface is sufficiently dry prior to the application of the CWM sealer. You will need a small roller and a large nap roller. Start from the furthest point and work back to your door. Apply the sealer using a small roller for the skirting and perimeter and a large cleaned nap roller for the remaining floor section. The nature of the application will be similar to painting. You won't leave excess for puddles and you don't want it too thin that you don't get a good coat. The following instructions are for a balcony of approximately 25 square metres or 250 square feet. If your balcony is larger, you may have to do it in sections, not all at once, as leaving excess sealer on the surface to dry may be visibly noticeable and unable to be removed. Once you've completed the first coat, check to see if all the sealer has soaked in. If it hasn't, you'll need to dry the remaining bits using clean cotton rag, nothing fluffy like a towel, as this will leave remnants on the surface. If the first coat has soaked in, you should attempt to apply a second coat. Do a small section and watch for the reaction. If the sealer is not soaking in, then wipe the excess off. And don't do a second coat. If it is soaking in, then do a second coat in the same nature as the first. One litre or one quart of CWM sealer has an average ridge of 5 square metres or 50 square feet. Please keep in mind that all stone is different and will take varying amounts.